I want to reflect on the latest police shooting that happened in Wisconsin. Black men, please, if the police stops you, do what they say. If you comply and do what they say, you might make it out alive. Whatever it is, do what they say, comply, be silent, and record the conversation. Record whatever is happening. Get somebody to record. Black men, we have seen and we have been seeing a lot of police shootings, a lot of killings. Nothing's gonna change. It is what it is. The police have a license to abuse, disrespect, provocate, harass and kill you. If you value your life, try to be calm as possible. Don't talk. Take your cell phone and record them. At least it will show them up. That's the best we can do. Blacks in the US are ranked the lowest class citizen. Lower than Hispanics. Lower than Asians. And even lower than animals it is a fact what else do you want to see what else do you want to see the big picture you already know how law enforcements are so act accordingly know what they will do and they will do it they will kill you they will shoot you they will pull you over without a cause accept it instead of fighting it they will kill you no since the death of George Floyd and the public outcry, have anything changed? Black men are still being killed, still being harassed, still being pulled over. The police cannot help themselves. No matter how many fires you burn, no matter the pleas, things will always and will always remain the same. This is how the country was built. This is how it is. And this is how it always will be. I guarantee you that next year, this time, we're still gonna see videos of police misconduct, police shooting, police killings, police harassment. It's gonna be the same. It is what it is. The police will continue to harass black people no matter what. They will kill you if you resist. They will continue to be racist and refer to you as colored. And they will continue to oppress you. They will continue to put your kids on the floor put handcuffs on your little kids they get a kick out of that they will continue to treat you just the same as I watched that video and I saw the guy was walking away maybe if he had just knelt down let them do whatever then I mean he would be in a better position it is what it is it is what it is no no matter who or what we turn out to be we are in spirit the police have harassed our black judges, our black lawyers, our black doctors, and even black cops. So get that in your head. Nobody is, there's no exception. Once you're black, you're gonna be treated that way. At least you know, at least you can be prepared. At least if you obey, you beg them. Keep your peace, keep your mouth shut. Then you may have a chance of making it out alive. Be prepared to see many more shootings. Be prepared to see many more harassments. Be prepared to see everything remains the same. It is what it is. It has been that way for 20, 30 years. What's gonna change? It will not change. The police have a license to do what they want to do. They will kill you. I recently saw a video with a white guy drew a knife on a police officer. Police officer was a woman. And she was running away from the, the white guy. She ran away, ran away, ran away. And the white guy threatened that he was going to kill her. And he, he eventually was shot only once. And that was like five minutes of him lunging at the officer with a knife and our black men have nothing no tool no what the officers demonstrated in george floyd's case is that hey you're black and we will kill you let the whole world see 
We're not afraid to do that. They're not afraid to do that. They made their statements. They will kill you. What has changed? You look on the news every day, the videos are still there. Black men being killed, black men being harassed, black men being pulled over. It is what it is. So I urge you, in order to save your life, comply, be calm. And I think if you can protect yourself by buying, investing in a small camera for your vehicle and also have your cell phone on hand that any interaction with police or law enforcement, then you record. At least there's something to say what happened. Years ago, it was lynching. Now the police, years ago, we find that the police would uh, shoot. But no, they don't have to shoot. They don't have to lynch anymore. All they have to do, put a knee on your neck. That's it. They're going to find some way. They band in uh, the, the, the foot on the neck. They're going to come up with some creative way of killing you. Like I said, all you can do is comply. Film them. Comply. You're passing some, you're passing a, a, on, you're passing someone being pulled over, someone being stopped by the police. Take out your phone and film. Doesn't have to be you. Can be just passing a scene. Take out your phone and film. The only thing that I see that cops are afraid of or law enforcement is afraid of in this country are cameras. I firmly believe that if there's a lion and a black man side to side, the police is more likely to shoot the black man first than the lion or vice versa. Please put your safety first. It's no joke. The police have a license to kill. They don't care. They're not there to serve and protect you. They're there to harass and kill you. Get that in your head. As you go by your day-to-day -day business, keep that in mind. You're approached by a law enforcement officer, be respectful. Shut your mouth, do whatever they say. Then you might make it out alive. Be smart. That's all I'm saying. Thank you.